go. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Fortnite Frontier, where we discuss all the things happening in Star Citizen. I am your host, Arianator. Over there is my good friend, Meyer, and in between is the one, the only, the bearded wonder, Texas Skulls. And the first thing I'm going to do on this episode is open this beer. Mm. Good call. What are you guys all drinking today, actually? Mm, coffee. God. Coffee. And King Goblin. King Goblin. <laughs> you point in the wrong way. I love it. <laughs> I've got myself. Gloria a... starts. Dodge. How do you? No, oh, you can't see the goddamn. Can somebody in chat pronounce that? I. I. What does it even say? It says Franz Scanner. Franz Scanner. Yeah. Well, I know that's that the one. Yeah. Yep. Um. The, their slogan is Francis Scanner Premium Pills. If if you actually ever watch um, German TV, the commercials are all over the place. Okay. It's not um, a bad beer. And it's a good one. It's a good one, I'll, I'll admit. But um, I'm I'm over pills right now, so... Fair enough, fair enough. So um, a lot has happened in the past... Uh, well, we haven't done one of these in a long time because I was ill. Yes, and we're then, mm. Hashtag scheduling is hard. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Mm, it happens. But we're, so, we're all scheduled. We're here. We're here. We are yes. Now. We actually so. made it happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Uh, the first thing I'd like to actually point up, uh, come up, point up, bring up. That's the word. It's late. Citizen Con. Citizen Con. Yes. Ooh, Dates what? have been announced. And um, are we going? I think we're all going. Are we going? Are we going? I, um, I I'd believe like to so. Think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it should be a good yes. one. Um, when are tickets on sale? Do you remember? July 1st for subscribers and concierge and July 2nd for everybody else. Okay. All right. So we have a, I have a bit to go, like a 10 days or so. Yeah. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And released in small buckets each time, of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. 150 uh twice for one f in one, uh, in batches of 150 on july 1st and twice in batches of 200 i think in july 2nd and then the extras as well mm. i wonder how mm. fast they're gonna they're gonna sell this time around because um the game's gone games? tickets gone it's gone yeah. yeah however on the on the first day they went like that mm. but on the second they actually lingered for on for a few hours the mm. second uh subscriber day no, no, the actual, the normal days. Right, because the second subscriber day, I think maybe it lasted five minutes longer than the first yeah. day. Yeah, got it. I, I actually, I actually got it in the first thirty seconds mm. on the first day because I just, I had to. Yeah, yeah. On the first, on the first yeah. day, I took a bit longer than normal logging on, and so I missed mm. it just because I was too slow logging on. It was ridiculous. I was oh, oh in well. a, I was in my friend's um, garage on like uh 3g internet and i was on my phone just kept refreshing the page for yeah. the link to come up it was on britizen con so it was it was impossible yeah for me. like uh I, <laughs> it was funny yeah, because as soon luck. as they went online like everybody just like stopped what they were doing they couldn't be bothered with what was going on the stage anymore they're all on their phones buying the tickets <laughs> <laughs> pause you, the presentation pause <laughs> Oh god, I can just imagine. Why wasn't that on the stream? <laughs> like, like uh, somebody going, sales, sales, um, sales pages online. Everybody just, then mm -hmm. you could hear the phone tappings and the crickets and everything, and 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 the Wi-Fi routers straining to keep up. So. That's. Uh, I'm, I'm sure the citizen con tickets will go pretty quick. So we'll mm. we'll see. Yeah. But I, I got a feeling. Goodbye. Yeah. Yep. It's actually July 1st, is on a Saturday, so I think I will just reserve the entire day for myself, my keyboard, and the F5 key. <laughs> Sounds like a solid plan. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, mm. I'm in I'll Vegas just... then, so oh, I'm oh. going to have to like uh, figure out some method of not fucking that up and <laughs> still getting a <laughs> ticket, so... Uh, that'll be interesting. You, if you trust somebody, you could give them no. your login and they do it I for trust you. No you one. don't trust anybody. Mm. No one. Okay, Mulder. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Speaking of uh, having to get an F5 key, you might need multiple because you're going to need some stamina to uh, <sighs> keep up. 
<laughs> Rough. Rough. The that, worst segue ever. <laughs> the worst. That is the worst. It actually took me a while to realize yep. what the fuck is he talking about yep. and then i realized yeah that is the second topic oh, of our show that we had planned yes <sighs> you're welcome um, you're welcome wow well hey at least we know that after that the rest of the show can only go up oh so, you'd be surprised <laughs> oh shit <laughs> very true you're right you're what right. am i doing uh, yes um but it's not just the stamina system that um we want to to talk about i've been actually you know in the preparation for this podcast i went through the past five six seven atvs watched them all in 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 their entirety well at least the studio reports today and i actually you know after throwing this much information at my, my eyes i realized that um stamina the stamina system is not its own system um, there's a thing called the actor status system, of which the stamina is a single part. The what so, system? So, the actor status system. The actor status system, okay. Yeah. Stamina is part of that. And it's basically just one of the systems that um, tells how your player is able to interact with the world. Like, what basically the status of the actor is. Mm-hmm. Um and I think that is a good um, foundation to build on for other survival um, mm-hmm. systems that they can plug into it. Right. Like, okay, hunger, which they said that still nobody knows exactly how it's going to work. Like if you're stuck on a planet, it will take an effect. But if you're on a ship that's stocked, you won't have to worry about it. I don't know how exactly that's going to work. Right. Yeah. <sighs> Um, I don't know. But, yeah, I, I th- there's a lot of open-ended questions still to, that mm-hmm. remain to be answered, I think. Yeah, but I think it's a good um, start or a good uh, basis for it. I mean, how do you think? I mean, like, uh, this is less stamina, more hunger. Mm. But how, how do you reckon hunger is going to work in the game? <sighs> I mean, th- we've heard so many little snippets over the um, past couple of years about, well, you know, like this, that, the other. But some things don't necessarily... I don't trust anything that's... Oh, Older than six months, yeah. basically. Right, yeah. Because I feel like uh, they kind of want survival, survival me- mechanics to be in when you're actually, like, in o- on a planet. But but uh, let's say you're on a ship. I don't really think mm. that you need to have to go to the, to the I was going to say the brig, go to the mess hall to, to eat because, like, technically, mm. you know, it's, it's there. It's not something you have to, like, hunt or gather, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Sure. But... There's also another thing. If you're under attack and if you're if you run off from a battle barely in one piece, mm-hmm. like your life support system is barely holding itself together to provide the oxygen, how can they explain that for some reason the mess hall is still fully stocked? Fully stocked. Um, I mean, in in, a, in such a situation, you you would think that hunger would still. I know what's going on. A factor. Here. Mm. Yeah. You're mad because you want that sort of artificial demand for your sandwich shop. And you're mad <laughs> that because the mess halls are never being depleted, that there's no more demand for Darjanator's shitty sandwich sandwiches. <clears throat> I mean, good sandwiches. I'm, my, my, oh, <laughs> Thank God, you. How dare I? I mean, there's oh, no demand very dare for your you That's exactly what's happening here is that you're just mad about it. You, you want mm. more people buying your sandwiches so you can sit on top of your sandwich empire and just, you know, have a little smug smile on your face, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. yeah. the sandwiches. name of my sandwich shop is going to be um, sandwiches that one guy from Texas Earth said were sh- on Yelp said were shit. That's the name mm. of the sandwich shop. I hope there's a Yelp in Star Citizen <laughs> because I'm going to give you a bad review. <laughs> <laughs> well, bad I review. Think that there, there are going to be review for... Um, professions like mm. um, pilots and turret operators, stuff like that. Yeah, that's going to be reviewed. You know, so why not sandwich shops as well? Well, I mean, <laughs> on the on the mobile last, um, there are a ton of different applications from uh, you know what we have right now up um, to cargo to even like looking at your health. 
And they've mentioned that one of the things that they want to do as well is actually implement the um, what's it called the the spectrum right onto the uh, onto the Moby Glass. And I think there's a spectrum icon on the Moby Glass thing uh, up on the video that uh, you guys will see in a second. But um, Boom, so right there. so uh, I feel like maybe perhaps there might be some kind of Yelp thing because we know that there's going to be some sort of um, some sort of reputation system in the game yeah 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 um uh I'll go ahead uh, well i was gonna say i mean you kind of talking about the food and stamina though I'd, I'd like to see them always have that requirement but maybe not make it so much of a true survival-esque requirement in that maybe there's added benefits like increased mm -hmm. stamina pool or recovery because you're well fed but not like yeah. a you're dying because you haven't eaten right and i'd like yeah. to see it on ships in some sort of form i mean you know there's got a didn't they say that like sleeping or something can also renew your stamina or they said something about beds and and the bathrooms and whatnot right didn't they okay. recently were there, were there some yeah. tiny benefit there yeah something mm. yeah but there's nothing official and there's no yeah. well um sorted out uh, documentation about how all everything is going to work out uh, because they are still working on it. Mm. Um, they're still implementing the stamina system on, and how it's going to um, affect your performance when it comes to shooting and running and vaulting over things. Um, so I think I, I think the, the entire hunger thing is still on the to-do list without being exactly uh, worked out. I mean, God, unless yeah. unless they're working on it, but they haven't actually shown us anything because even the stamina system, they showed us they showed it to us, but it was fairly <laughs> it was far fairly along into development. Yeah. It was fairly rough. Hello, dog. <laughs> it was fair, it was very rough. Yeah. <laughs> there goes Meyer with the apt pun. Sorry, okay. Bubba, stop. Seriously. Raw, Sorry, my, my dog is just he, he's just he's sitting on the floor staring at me and barking. <laughs> this episode what, of Fortnite Frontier with Darionator Meyer, Texas Skulls, and Bubba. Bubba Junior, excuse you. Bubba Mind Junior. You. Bubba, Bubba Junior. But yes. is is he named after the char character in Forrest Gump? Because he was Bubba Junior as well. No, he's not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's named after my first dog. It was ah. Toby, but then everyone started calling him Bubba, anyways. And so then <laughs> when I. When, when he passed away and I get a new dog, I said, Bubba Jr. Mm. It is. Bubba Jr. Yes. No, just because I'm from Texas. So I, just, <laughs> I decided, Bubba Jr., you know, let, let's just be here, <laughs> right? How, how are his shrimp? They're good. Bu Bubba mm. Gump. Yep. Real, Bub real yeah, good shrimps. Gump shrimp. real, yeah. real good. Yes, my, my dog, expert chef. Shrimp boiler, better yet. Shrimp only, but expert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Confirmed. Can yes. make a mean cocktail. Um, Absolutely. I mean, back to what you guys were saying, though, about, like, uh, the need for survival mechanics on ships. I mean, like, we have a cargo system, right? So if you, mm -hmm. like, uh, save some of that cargo for just food, then surely that that could deplete on its own, like, to, to keep up your... Uh, your staff, your ship, you know, your, your, your player, that kind of thing. And then so on long journeys, you'd have like a pool of food. And only then mm -hmm. when that depletes, then you kind of get that kind of stamina system going. I think I recall yeah. them saying that uh, they didn't want stamina. Well, they didn't want the food thing to be like Daisy or any of the current survival games, Minecraft, whatever, what have you, where you starve to death after a half an hour or so of play. They, they, they want, yeah, they want, the, yeah. The, some of those yeah. games are crazy because you have to eat like 20, 30 steaks a day just to survive. It's a lot of food, I know, right? Like, mm. yeah. what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Or, Not for me. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What are you burning? I, mean, I, I, I can imagine that a um, ship. Yeah, although, that's... to be fair, in Minecraft, you are mining like all day long. That is burning a lot of calories. Just that's saying. That's true. true. You know? That's true. You do need yeah. a healthy appetite. That well, yeah, I, like, yeah, I was saying, um, on a healthy ship, I can Im I can imagine that none of that is going to take come into effect. Like, you can take your suit off, and you have a constant CO two saturation with stamina regeneration, and you're always mm -hmm. fed. Mm -hmm. But as soon as your ship is at least somewhat damaged, some of those systems are going to start breaking down. Um, but where is that cutoff? Yeah, 
Right. For well, for fruit because we don't know, but for stamina, mm. I would I would imagine that well for for air, I would imagine that you have the life support system, right. which has the job of scrubbing CO two from the uh, from the air, mm-hmm. um, replenishing replenishing the oxygen and maintaining temperature. Right. Because mm-hmm. something that I also haven't um, discussed is how temperature is going to affect you. Like yeah, everything is like twenty two degrees Celsius, mm-hmm. and you know. You're safe, but you know what if you're landing on Sorry, you um, a particularly hot. Twenty-two yes. Celsius. Twenty-two, 22 Celsius. I'm not yeah. safe at that temperature. No, nope, I'm dying. <laughs> you're, are you? Are you? I'm cold? freezing. I am freezing. If, yep, I'm dead. Mm-hmm. That's for real. That's short sleeves weather, dude. It's like a hundred degrees outside, and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> like I'm dead at seventy one. When you come to Citizen <laughs> Con in October, you better bring a burka because you're you are definitely enough. freeze to death. I will, I will. I'm just yeah. saying, I, I'm dead at that temp. All it's, right. it's official. Right. <laughs> but back to my point. Um, like, okay, let's say whatever your normal temperature is, but you know, remove thirty or forty degrees, mm-hmm. thirty or forty degrees lower than that, you will definitely feel it unless you're wearing some. Um, like Arctic survival gear, or if it's forty degrees higher than that, mm-hmm. um, you'll yeah. it, it, you'll feel it. I mean, you you will cook, you will boil. Yeah. So yeah. that's even even the the Mobiglass um, mock-up. We didn't see that, and th- this, that is definitely something I feel like it's gonna have to be in there because even the original Mass Effect had that. So when when you say I feel you like they will. It. Mm. When you say it didn't have it, do you mean it didn't have like a like a s- thresholds? I mean, like if we if we no, go, I, I, the yeah. readout just wasn't there. Like the, it, there was the exterior atmosphere readout, and you had the oxygen and CO two, nitrogen and argon readout, mm-hmm. uh, but pressure and temperature just weren't there. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah, looking back at it, yeah, there's no temperature, mm-hmm. and you'd expect it to be there. I mean, like there's there is actually pressure. Pressure is there. Pressure is there. But I just it's feel like they're 100%. not ready for it yet. Um, I love mm-hmm. Yeah, we can hear you. What's up? Hello? Hello, Texas. Hello, yes, Earth you're to here. Texas. Earth to Earth. <laughs> Texas looks so him? scared. <laughs> no, I can see him. You can see him. Can you guys I can not see him. Me? We can I, hear we you. We can hear you. Hello? Can, can he not hear us? Is Discord being a bitch? Uh, now I can hear you. There we go. Welcome back. Did Bubba eat his audio cable? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, nothing happened. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, here we go. So I was, I was just saying, uh, pressure is there, but it's at a hundred percent. So how is that? Like the scale goes from to a hundred percent. But what if you, for instance, land on Venus, that has like f- ten times the pressure on the surface as earth i think I or even more yeah. wouldn't be able to land there you know what i mean i, I think that this is like a Currently later implementation form yeah. you know uh, well i mean your suit should be able to regulate that i feel mm-hmm. um i mean mm-hmm. well, okay maybe you know a uh, uh, higher pressure maybe not i don't know but I, I just feel like it's a later implementation i think they're trying to get through the entire sort of atmosphere stuff first as in the the Make up of the atmosphere, oxygen, argon, nitrogen, you know, et cetera. Worry about right. that. Worry about stamina. And then, you know, later when they actually have time and they've gotten that foundation in place, then start building out into things like temperature, pressure, et cetera. Mm. It's interesting that uh, before they even think about doing temperature and pressure or whatever, that they've actually mm. gone into quite some detail about the actual composition of air in rooms. Mm. Um, we've just, uh, mm-hmm. we've had the Mobiglass, uh, like a, uh, video up a couple times but i'll put it up again but uh like on on the top right it shows uh like uh well the composition of the air and uh i think they mentioned that you'd be able to actually fine tune that so uh you mm-hmm. know yeah. to to whatever purposes that you want which is interesting because not many people know exactly what concentrations of everything that you need to not die um, so uh, I, I wonder if the colors will I change think, to indicate. I it. think certain medical professionals actually do know what the percentage of CO two, for instance, is where you start mm. feeling it. Yeah, or... but how many medical professionals play video games? Is my question. I mean, like I'm just saying, in in the case of us three, like it, oh it, it, right, not yeah. not not you mean actually CIG. No, yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, but what they can do is give us indicators like change a you know a color of something or put mm. a warning sign right when when something you know we don't know the levels, but they can still signal it through some other UI element, right? Mm. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could have like a range for where it's safe. You know, for um, for oxygen, I think it's twenty one percent on Earth. Like you have like from fifteen to twenty six percent. Here's your optimum, and anything below or above that, you're gonna have some unwanted side effects yeah they, they mm. mentioned that you mm. can actually pump uh well anything in or out and actually knock people out mm. and uh yeah. in a couple of law posts they've actually like uh i mean i think it was on your stream text like you were in grim hex and i noticed the graffiti on the wall and the graffiti said at most sucker at, yeah at it was most sucker sorry yeah um because uh and um it links to a law post that they posted like maybe a month ago about this person called the Gasper, and what she did okay. is that she used to like uh she used to use e war to hack onto stations like uh and uh basically turn off their life support and then yeah, hold, wow. hold that at ransom but, but now she's gonna be like this really big like uh like bounty because apparently she did it to a really old station and when she when she got what she needed and she then gave them back control their systems were too old to spool up fast enough to save their lives so everybody on the station died apparently Ooh. so now she's like a most wanted criminal or something so Damn. i think that it might actually be like a really big part of piracy in e war like a uh, atmos sucking to like mm -hmm. uh, give people an ultimatum to decide what they want to do so right. you know there's two things about that one when you pointed that that out to me yeah that, that was during uh, one of my streams and mm. um, I had never noticed that before. First off, I could barely even read it. I don't know how you read it as I was literally sprinting past it. And I was like, wow, good. good <laughs> I live cat. in London. There's graffiti everywhere. It's disgusting. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a huge Expanse vibe from that. That just oh, for yeah? some reason, it just like immediately reminded me of Expanse because, you know, the, the, the belters, right? They're, they're always yeah, yeah. on about clean air and atmosphere. But um, beyond that, I think that the level of detail they're putting into this system is really going to open up the door for some really neat gameplay, like oh, you know, li like you said, just reducing the oxygen or increasing the CO two to just slowly knock out everyone, right? Yeah, restore it to mm -hmm. normal or, or leave it down for a little bit, not enough to kill, just knock out <laughs> and uh, come in and steal everything off the ship, and then leave. Well, you wouldn't even need to just reduce it enough so everybody's really feeling the effects, and then you know you can just wipe the floor with them. You don't even yeah. have to knock them out. Yeah. Although it would be easier to just knock him out and do whatever well, so you I'm want saying, like, while everybody's there's asleep. There's your, your non-murdering option, yeah. right? Where you yeah. just knock them all out, come in, take their shit, and then, um, you know, leave them. Yeah. <laughs> Restore I mean, it, but by that time, you know, you're long gone. Um, or yeah. gas and actually poison them and kill them, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's some interesting gameplay. So. I don't see too many people actually killing people when this game comes out, to be fair. I mean, like, uh, not as much I as we do now. Counts. I you have alt accounts. accounts. Fair enough. Fair enough. Everybody I, but I those will be all... a pirate on one of them. <laughs> I mean, yes. like, there's piracy and there's, like, reaving, I guess. like uh, That's what I... Sorry, character. reaver. Yes. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you, are you going to... Um, wow. Rape people to death, eat their flesh, and sew their skin into your clothing? Okay, sorry. I will kill people, not... <laughs> okay. Rape people to death, eat their flesh, and sew their skin into clothing. Excuse me. I will be killing Because that's people. what the Reavers do. <laughs> or is the re Reapers? Reavers. Yeah, Reavers. Yeah. It's, it's the Reavers, yes. Okay. Yes, Minus and if you're the, very, Reaper's very wrong lucky. Game. That's Mass Effect. Mm. <laughs> no, yeah. Can you and if you're very, <laughs> very lucky, they will do it in that order. Yes, yes. Right. I thought it was kill you, and uh, you want to kill yeah. you first order. Yeah, yeah. Hope exactly, yeah. Ra rape to death, eat flesh, sew skin into clothing. And if you're very lucky, they'll do it in that order instead of mm. first eating flesh and sewing skin into clothing and then only killing you by rape. Mm. Yes. Anyway, yes. moving on from wow. this most gruesome topic, this back to... dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Mm. I'm a big Firefly nerd and yeah. I will bring it up as... <laughs> <laughs> as often as I can, I will bring it up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... Uh... Again, I, I still feel like uh, people call me, say I'm, I'm new to the internet for this, but uh, I, I feel like uh, it, people aren't going to, I mean, unless you do have an alt account. And this is because of what Chris said in the Death of a Spaceman thing. I, and the way he worded it was so strong 
that I don't think that he's going to change from it. And he basically mm-hmm. said that if you are a player killer, you are literally scum. And he started yeah. barking. He's done. <laughs> Gave him a nasty point. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, there is just not enough, uh, not just in Star Citizen, but in most games like this, there is just not enough deterrent from actually killing other players mm. or just people. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, uh, I'm not sure if it'll, how much it will tie into the self, def- I mean, the self defense system, the stamina system. But uh, you know how in, <laughs> P- in in PUBG text, like when you're in a group and you knock someone, da- where you you know you knock someone down, then you have the chance to mm-hmm. kill them after. I feel like it's gonna be like that in this game. That'd be neat. I I would like that. I really would mm. because then it definitely it distinctly separates that decision point of. Am I actually going the route of murderer here, or am I simply incapacitating to get something else? Yeah, exactly. And the true but evil then again, con- considering like the uh, realism they're going through with um, projectile tracing and the point of impact on a body, I don't think how, just how well you're going to be able to incapacitate someone with a headshot. Well, I mean, the suspension of belief that or disbelief that uh, Chris used in the death thing was that uh, if you died from a headshot, you'd wake up in a hospital with a metal jaw. Because, hey, mm-hmm. even though you did obviously get shot in the back of the head, no, that was your jaw. And so you're now like a steel face or whatever. So yeah. I want a yeah. steel nose. Who, See, who I'm okay. Uh, what <laughs> who was it from Doug Bond movies that had a steel nose? Was it Dr. No? Nose. Steel nose, steel jaw, and there was jaws. jaws. Yeah, jaws. Does, does jaw. jaw? Yeah, mm. jaws. No, no, but there was like a big, um, super villainy type villain that had a steel nose. Was he called Frankie? Mm. Hang on, there, there's I, I don't Frankie the nose, Bond, steel nose. What? Yeah, yeah I think so. I, I don't know any Bond villains with a steel nose. This is news to yeah, me. Yeah, I, I don't either. This is mm. nose to me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Who knows? <laughs> Nobody knows. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> or, or maybe um, maybe I'm actually miss it, mixing it up with Dix Hill from the next generation. Dixon Hill. So I guess okay. what I'm thinking here, and, and sorry to bring us More back alcohol. to something that, that you spoke of, but you know, we're we're talking about what what are the actual impl- implications of being a criminal, a, a true mm. murderer mm-hmm. just versus a pilot. And one of the things I think I really liked was um, going back to the Ultima Online days, actually. Um, did you guys ever play that? No. Um, no, but I, I saw, okay. I've seen gameplay, yeah. Fair enough. Well, obviously, Origin, Wing Commander, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, um, you know, we see roots in that um, with Chris Roberts. And one of the things that, you know, if you, if you stole from someone, you turned gray, which means that right. you were a criminal, right? And you had a timer or whatever for a little bit where players could attack you and this and that. Obviously, it's not a direct translation to how it'd be neat to see things work in Star Citizen. But essentially, there was a difference between stealing or, you know, doing something minor. But if you actually killed somebody Mm -hmm. and did it enough, you turned red. And you were permanently red. Um, And I say permanently. It expired very slowly over time. But essentially, you were now barred from all cities you know, you, you couldn't use, I think, the regular resurrect places or whatever. Okay. Um, and it, it had serious implications in your play, but it was valid if you wanted to. Mm. Essentially, you'd have to have, like, this self-sufficient colony, though. So you'd almost have these, like, murderous colonies that, you know, will sell to you, right? So, or these completely mm. outlaw colonies that don't care who you are. They don't care right. about your reputation. They'll sell to you. And then, you know, right. that was just enough to get by. So something like that would be really neat. I, I think that, that I can mm. actually see happening, but mm-hmm. this entire reputation system, like whether you're a lawful, um, someone iffy, or a complete scumbag, I think should only be done if there is actual evidence to so support I, that. I guess that's where monitored space comes in. And mm. perhaps maybe it'll work very similarly to how it ri- does right now, which means that if you are in UEE space, it doesn't necessarily mean that every single place you are is monitored. 
mm-hmm. know, like uh, mm-hmm. there will be dark spots. There'll be places that you can turn down those calm rays and that kind of thing. And you can make crim areas where a death is a bit more shady. Um, I feel like that's something that's, uh, you know, like within the realms of possibility. It's kind of like what they've shown us, what they, what they want already. Um, but definitely, definitely, definitely like uh, outlaw zones, unclaimed areas. You know, I, I can see pirates having their own kind of like all pirate organizations, pirate groups of people. Mm-hmm. I can see all that. I can see them kind of like grouping together and forming their own kind of like their laws and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Because the game intends to be so big that everyone can play the way they want to. So if you want it to be a, and um, I played this game called Albion Online. It's, uh, I think it's only just come, you know, it's now. It's still in beta. Is it still in beta? (laughs) Yeah, it's like coming out soon. Right, right. It's been like two years of beta. Yeah. (laughs) I played that and and that in itself is basically RuneScape, but totally sandbox with no quests and and all that kind of stuff. Uh, for, yeah. for reference charge um, and uh, basically uh, I've I played on both sides I played as a, as a noob by myself and uh, you know, not doing anything and I've done and I've joined the largest organization there and like they live in what they call a black zone which basically means that uh, it's on an island away from the main like noob area and then like it's all free for all over there and mm-hmm. that's how I I, I kind of see what might happen in Star Citizen where you have UEE well, space you don't have to it, mm-hmm. it, like um, speculate that's going to happen because that already has happened. It's in lore. Like yeah. Levski is part of one of those outlaw um groups or communities where they are not um Banu or Jian or either UE. They're on their own. Mm. Now, they and that's spurred from. Um, the Messer area or something, I don't know. But, you know, they have the statue that, you know, this clearly says, remember Anthony Tanaka, who, who is like a f- martyr or figurehead for their movement. Right. So, yeah, there are, there will be pre-established societies like that where mm-hmm. you'll be able to, um, if you want to skirt the legality of the system where you'll be able to base yourself. Mm. I mean, there's Grim yeah. Hex as well, you know? Like, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, Grim Hex is more piratey than that, I'd say. It's okay. more completely outlaw versus just Great. Um, independent. Okay. And, and, that, and that's where you can see, like, a, you know, different uh, a sort of um, scale on, you know, okay, some colonies, they're, they're sort of outlaws, you know, colonies or stations or, or whatever you want to call them, right? Um, but they they turn away the murderers, right? Like you're still mm-hmm. shoot on sight for if you're just a, a you know cold blooded killer. But then yeah, if just some shit, are literally bag, yeah. yeah. But then some are literally just open to all. So you've kind of got that dichotomy mm-hmm. there, right? Of yeah. here's your UEE controlled systems. Here's your kind of on the fringes. Here's your outlaw, and here's your literally just anyone the scum of the earth can go here, right? Yeah. And so I mean, you know, your choices obviously you limit yourself as you you know. Get, you know, fall lower and lower and lower on the uh, scum index. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh-huh. oh, go ahead. I was gonna gonna say. Um, I honestly wonder how much time one has to pour into a character to to get stuff, simply because you know, with alts and stuff, you could just say, "This is my reaver alt." <laughs> Die mm-hmm. everybody, and then like, uh, you know, then move on to your good guy character and say, "Hey guys, what happened? <laughs> oh geez, where'd all this blood come from? <laughs> Am I right?" Yeah. <laughs> I well, but how how well will those um separate accounts be connected I think I, I don't think there will be like there will be in game there will be any connection that they're owned by the same person mm, yeah. they're like completely different people mm-hmm. yeah that's how right, I think so it, yeah. so yeah, so you you can't just you know log out with your goody goody two shoes per um, account and log back in at the same location in the same situation with your you know scumbag alt but they call it alt yeah. parking and what if you did just park an alt there then come as your asshole and then like log off and then like log back onto your main guy like oh guys what happened you know i mean like uh... i mean I, I guess the thing that i have to consider is is what difference does it make right what if it wasn't an alt and mm. it was just a, a dude who is an asshole who that's all he does mm. in the game right and uh, yeah you'll never know i mean you know it's, it's kind of what, what difference alt. does it make alt versus not alt right that's true i guess that's true yeah I guess well, I, to you, I, I was, have hmm. t- two accounts, although I don't think I will actually be playing both of them. Because um, in every sort of like RPG game, I always 
try to at least align myself the same way as I do um, in any D&D campaign that I take part in, which is chaotic good. Right. Mm-hmm. Which is basically basically means a sarcastic son of a bitch, but okay. you know, still not an asshole. So like you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Just> my... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, so yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, so I won't be, I Actually, won't be exactly going around me. killing people, but I will go into the toilets and turning their roller, you know, rolls of toilet paper around so it's under instead of over. Oh my god! And shit no, like that. That is yeah. that. That is a crime. That <laughs> is a crime. Seriously, it goes but on D- top. It <laughs> should be, but it's not. <sighs> The D in Dodge stands for Upper Decker. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, speaking of toilets, do you guys think that's going to be <laughs> take a part into the actor's, actor, wait, what's it called? Actor status system. Yes. I, I think that's what's going to drain most of the stamina, to be honest. Mm. Holding in all that poop. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, when mm-hmm. when you're, you're just waddling around on the battlefield just because you got you have to take a deuce, but you do, don't have a facility to do it. You are They've actually got a whole separate. Yeah. They, they've got a. Oh, God. <laughs> they've got a separate set of animations for when you really got to take a poop, actually. <laughs> Changes the entire walking animations. Amazing. Warning. Warning. Brown mm-hmm. alert. Warning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, Hi, Jesus Tessa here. Christ. You really gotta take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tessa here. I smell something. Um, I want voice. Come attack in, with random her. pooper. <laughs> it's Sorry, not bacon. <laughs> what? I said I want voice attack with Tessa. <laughs> yeah, I think. Tessa, well, quantum jump. Hmm. The HCS voice pack guys could probably get that done. I mean, so many people are like, "Oh, Tessa, Tessa, Tessa," and I'm not even sure if she's coming back. You know. So, um, the actress actually, you, you know, in the, in the previous, like, I think it was even the, in the latest ATV where they mm-hmm. showed the hairstyles on, um, females, mm-hmm. the Asian chick, that's, that's the, um, that's Tessa? voice actress. That, I think that is Tessa. Yeah. Okay. Then she plays a part in Squadron 42 as well. Or is that a different person? No, she does. She does. Okay. I think her oh, last name okay. is you. She, yeah, I think she's on the, on, um, on the credit don't, don't take my word for it, but I think her last name is you. I don't know what her first name is. Theresa, I think. Uh, Theresa. Anyway. You? Anyway, no. I no, I no. feel like we could get lost in a uh, Three Stooges thing here, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna steer clear of this. Who's on first? No thanks. I'm done. <laughs> I'm so done. Mm, you're on second. Mm, yes. Mm, 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 mm. Uh-huh. Let's just avoid this topic altogether. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, um... So back to the stamina system and food. I mean, like, what kind of buffs do you think the food will give? Because they've mentioned before... Sophie Yu, yeah, sorry. Um, Sophie Wu. Sophie Wu. Sophie Sophie Wu, Wu. yeah. It's it's Wu, Wu. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. mm. So, like, um, in one of those, like, uh, hidden, should I say, like, uh, interviews that we saw, Oh, I, I saw at least. Um, they mentioned the fact that food might cause you to have boosts, you know, like boons with your stamina. So first of all, like how much of a boost do you think that's going to give you? Is it um, like and how long is it going to last? And what mm. other food boons do you think you can get? Thing is, if I eat pizza, mm-hmm. I will get a mental boost. Like I will be... <laughs> But a stamina uh, my spirits debuff. will my spirits will be lifted. I will think more clearly, uh, you know all this stuff. But if I eat pizza every day, I don't expect much of a physical boost. Especially, I think I expect a physical detriment. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> well, I I really don't know. I think it, for food, I really don't think it, there will be a boost or a uh, a buff or a debuff. Um, system in play. For Not even a small one. I mean, like a, a, a typical Red MMO, Bull. Yeah, typical. Might... <laughs> well, that Red Bull I'm... gives you wings. You should be able yeah. to leave your your ship and fly at like the you know two tenths w- without the speed an EVA of light. pack. Yeah, just without no EVA, EVA pack, just <laughs> no EVA. Space wings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, just normal food. I don't think um, a buff. No debuff. Maybe. Like, if you're starving yourself, you would not get the stamina uh, regeneration, like Texas said. Mm. Um, so to use other MMOs as an example, I mean, like, mm-hmm. the ones that do, I mean, like, uh, some, like, uh, 
basic example uh that come off the top of my head are like uh stamina buffs like they increase your your maximum health pool uh mana buffs they increase your maximum mana spell casting buffs that <laughs> increase your maximum um so i'm just giving you examples and maybe we can draw parallels to what might be in star citizen in terms of you know if you were to just draw parallels between those ones sure those are the those are the main three and attack damage, of course. But, you know, like, uh, eating something in Star Citizen isn't going to make your gun shoot faster. You, you know what I mean? So there is, there's only so, so, so much that you... Mm. Well, I've been playing Witcher 3 a lot. Mm -hmm. And oh um, there is this... Like, yeah. Alchemy heavy. <laughs> <laughs> well, but not just that. Like, um, I actually just... Uh, one of the boons I gave myself was instead of just a five-second boost to vitality I, it's like a 20 minute boost whenever i eat or drink something okay yeah so you know might give you a better stamina recovery if you're well fed yeah but i don't really see any other benefits from it because it's it is especially if they want to avoid it being a um a major player when you're not stranded somewhere right like they said like it, it would only be um a major thing if you are stranded on a planet with no way out and you have to scrunch for food and stuff like that but if you're not they said food is not going to play a major role mm -hmm. so yeah. even then so it shouldn't really matter that much I really don't know where they're going with it. I, I, I try not to speculate when we don't have a proper uh, doc on, documentation guys, on it. Let's theory craft. I guess the problem is that they have, they have too many different routes that they can take. I mean, they, they could mm. literally have you die if they wanted to because you didn't eat. Yeah. Or, they could, or, mm -hmm. or they could make it as simple as like this small minor buff to your stamina regen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I mean, anything in between um, where maybe mm. you don't regen stamina at all. If mm. you haven't eaten, oh, that'd recently. be that'd be bad. So you, well, you and, don't die, but you don't regen stamina, or at least at a like snail's pace, right? So I mean, th there's so many mm. things that they can do in between, and and we just haven't been given the information to kind of figure out so, what that the direction actually is necessarily brings me to another thing. So you've done food or whatever, and maybe drink comes into it as well. So one thing that was in the especially recent, alcohol because they do have alcohol already. They do yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. But one and thing that's that, was in the most recent law post was uh th they were talking about what br um so basically in the law right now there's a huge human Xi'an initiative where they're passing a law to basically uh do trade with the Xi'an and um you know long story short we uh the, the human Xi'an trade thing has been passed and in two weeks we're getting the Xi'an knocks so you know but mm -hmm. um yeah. In, in, in the in the midst of all that, one the current imperator uh, was there was an assassination attempt on him, and the, uh, they did a talk screen on the guy who tried to kill him, and they found out that they had he had this drug called etam in his system, which apparently makes you like um, increases your perceptions and makes you like you know super well more more keyed up to do what you want to do but like mm -hmm. you know it, it has gives you some serious detriments afterwards. So I'm thinking right, that sure. maybe. You know, like you might, you know, like source some of this Atom stuff and then be really, really good at for one kind of thing. And then you might have your debuffs with the stamina afterwards. I feel like yeah. that, that could tie in there. That type of stuff is cool and it works mm. yeah. and, it, and it fits. But one thing that I don't want to see are the unrealistic things like, okay, now your health pools all of a sudden increased or, or whatever. Right. I, I don't, I, I want to, mm. you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to keep it somewhat grounded in reality, where sure, maybe mm -hmm. you get some sort of realistic boon for a little bit, but then, right. poof, you crash. Yeah, I, like, I mean, but you said, like, in you get a boon in perception, but that could only work if, like... So not necessarily the perception, like, in Dungeons mm -hmm. & Dragons, I can see yeah, stuff, but yeah, it's more yeah, like... But, yeah. but, you know, like, aiming. Yeah. Mm. But that could only work. No, no amount of game code is going to apart unless they actually implement substance enabled aimbot. Right. Well, what really they can do is reduce think they sway, would. reduce weapon sway. Re yeah, reduce sway. So if you're sitting there and and it's just moving a little bit, maybe you mm. you're a little bit more steady with your aim. And that is actually that is actually fine. connected with the stamina system. Like when you're breathing hard and you have a gun, and you know they have we have the, to show in the clips. They, you have 
several graphs, which is up and down movement, left and right movement, mm -hmm. and rotation. So you're basically going like this. So right. yeah, I, I could see that you know having to br breathe deeply a lot less if you're having if you have that yeah. uh, mm -hmm. drug. Like your blood is saturated a lot more, so you don't have to you get out. You run out of breath a lot later. And that fits, like if, right? Yeah, that, I mean, like that, you, that I could, that I could see happening. Yeah, but if you're doing actually like perception-wise uh, drugs, I don't think that could work in a single player, not in an MMO. I Definitely feel, not. I feel like uh, there are ways that they could do it. So, for instance, when you take the drug, all of a sudden there's a color filter. Now players glow a bit more, so you can see where they are. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Mm -hmm maybe not increase your maximum health pool but give you like a pain mitigation or something so you can take more mm -hmm. damage when the drug runs out then okay then that's when you're kind of screwed you know what i mean like yeah <laughs> like you're still yeah. gonna mm -hmm. die right like if you get hit in the head you're whatever happens would still yeah. happen but maybe you know if you get shot in the leg you run more slowly but because you're on this drug, then that effect is reduced while the effects mm -hmm. of the drug are still active, right? But then once it crashes, you're like, oh, holy fuck, I can't walk anymore. My leg yeah. is shot. So, mm -hmm. you know, they, they can, like I said, they, they can keep it. They, they can they can do some neat things, I think, and, and still keep it in sort of a, the realistic bounds here. Um, yeah. Which would be interesting. Mm. Yeah, but they, there's nothing like... Um, uh, what's that movie uh, that came out like a few years ago about this um, lawyer that took some drug and whatever? You, Limitless? Oh, Limitless. Limitless, that's yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah Great Limitless. Movie. Yeah. I, Wes, I don't think I there's it. anything like that is going to happen. Or Lucy, where suddenly you're not using only 10% of your brain and you're using 100% <laughs> of your brain yeah, and can yeah. go into bullet time and bullshit like that. Uh uh, yeah, some stuff like that I don't see um, happening, uh, at least in Star Citizen. Mm. Because what, what, like, how could they actually implement that, right? Like, uh, yeah, especially how, how in, an, in, in a multiplayer smarter? game, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just don't do it. There, there's in no game, character yeah. stats. I mean, the, mm. stamina, sure, but there, there's no, like, intelligence stat that you just all mm. of a sudden increase, right? <laughs> uh, mm. You know, and, and it's a skill-based game. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. <laughs> I mean, Gosh. there there are games that try and do that. Uh, Killing Floor is one that rings a bell. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a group game, and one class has the ability to go into Z time or Z time or whatever, and basically mm -hmm. go into bullet time, and so he can like aim and shoot things and get good headshots. Thing is, when he goes into Z time, then you are frozen. So you're like, oh shit! Got it. And you just so, can't do exactly, that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You you can't yeah. really do that for everybody else yeah. in a single yeah. player when it's you versus NPCs. Sure. Mm. But for, I, I, but since for the single player game in Squadron Forty Two, since it's so um, militarily controlled, I don't think you'll be able to just get some sort of drug on a mission and take it, and so it helps you. Mm -hmm. it, you're you, you'll be very limited. Or so we think, because nobody really knows how Squadron 42 is going to pan out. Maybe there's like a third of the game where you're just stranded on a planet and you have to get by with whatever means you have at your disposal. Right. Who knows? We'll find out, right? Uh, this <laughs> year? <will>. This <laughs> year? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope. Just trying to I stir up a because, shit storm here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because, er, because every time somebody mentions this, I have to mention that I have a bet going with Paul Shelley, the Astro Pub. Uh, yeah, I'm still of the opinion that we are getting it this mm. year, but he Same is thing. firmly of the opinion we're not. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. there were people who were like, oh, we're not getting 3.0 into at least 2019, you know, like, uh, <laughs> and then... 3.0 they... is a few weeks away. Exactly. Exactly. So, yes, my beard says so. Know, Definitively, I mean, the beard I mean, agrees. Tex was the only one who was like, yo, we're getting 3.0, I'm going to grow out this beard. And then, only then afterwards, they then said, you know, like, here's a schedule report. So, I mean, like... Uh, right. And, and only after did Disco Lando say the same thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, 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 like I said, back back in January, I said 3.0 mm. July. I may and miss then, it. It may it may come in August, but who knows? Mm. We may hit July and still. It's we'll definitely definitely luck, before Gamescom, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to take credit, um, but that was just purely a bullshit guess. But still, whatever. Yeah. Uh, 
Texas, are you are you shaving at when 3.0 launches? Have I you think decided that's the yet? Idea, isn't it? That's well, the reason why he's no, grown that no, thing. No, I, no, I no, no. The, the idea decision. was he's not going to shave until 3.0, but he never said that he's going to shave when 3.0 hits. No, okay. I made a stupid decision, and I'm. I said I'm going to leave it to my viewers to control what my beard becomes for one weekend, for four days or five days, basically <laughs> a Thursday through a Monday. After which I will shave. Completely. Shave it in stages. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, shave it in stages. Just leave the mutton chops, like a porn mustache, a you know, a soul patch, shit like that. And take photos of everything, because we wanna see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can vote for what you'd like to see when uh 3.0 is released on the PTU. <laughs> because uh Porn yep. stash, definitely. It's, it's it's going to a vote. Um, Pac-Man is one option. Um, literally shave Pac-Man symbols on my face with little wow. Pac-Man things. Um, dyeing it purple oh, for God. Twitch, of course, is, is another option. Mm-hmm. Um, doing the half face, so this will be shaved <laughs> and this will not. Um, there's the there's good, many the options bad, floating around out there, so <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, <laughs> Do you yeah. have an official poll going, or not yet. is this something yeah, when, you're when just, we get not just, closer? Not yet, not yet. Yeah, okay. when we get closer, we will um, see how my life is ruined for a weekend. <laughs> <sighs> Literally, all your friends in real life uh, will be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I'm not leaving the house that weekend. He's not leaving the house. Food <laughs> in. I'm, I'm going to put instructions to to the delivery driver: leave at door, don't <sighs> knock. Just leave, yeah. leave at. I'm sorry. Leave at door, knock once, and turn and walk away. <laughs> And he's not I don't streaming want you to see me in this that state. weekend. He's not streaming <laughs> yeah, right? anything. Yep. Yeah. He'll do it, mm-hmm. but there will be no evidence that he's actually no ev- done it. So he doesn't <laughs> actually have to do it. Oh, gosh. So, so hey, w- one thing that we did determine, and I've got a feeling that when I do shave this beard, I'm going to put it in a little Ziploc bag, and I'm going to weigh it. It's going to weigh exactly 3.0 ounces. Let me figure this out. It's coming. Conspiracy. And it's happening. You should you should send it to CIG. <laughs> yes. Okay. They're, then they're gonna think that you someone sent this. them their pubes. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, when you shave when you shave a beard and and, and it's just like you know laying in a pile or something, uh, you know, may not look too different from uh, something else that you shave. So you know. Yeah. <laughs> in, in an ATV, Chris would be like, and oh, we got something from uh, one of our. Oh Jesus Christ! What do I even do? This oh yeah, like, <laughs> like 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 it was three Texas episodes ago banned. on ATV. Yeah, three episodes ago on ATV, they opened a gift on ATV without actually expecting what it was, and thankfully it was a very tasteful glass glass sculpture, mm. and not a still dildo like it God. could have happened. Yeah. Although I, I feel, I feel like they, they had would probably England. done a retake. Yeah, yeah I feel like they knew. Would, yeah, otherwise Chris would be like. Who is this from? <laughs> Melt his ships. Man. <laughs> Press that ban button. Goodbye. <laughs> so one of the things that uh, kind of passed us by because uh, we missed one of these podcasts was E3. You guys get um. one game each. Okay. Just, okay. Well, what was your game of E3? Darsh. <clears throat> oh, you're not going to like this because it has nothing to do with star citizen or in any way whatsoever okay so i'm gonna have two answers all right the first answer is ori and the will of the wisps because ori and the blind forest was one of my favorite games of all time even though it has nothing to do with the entire star citizen gaming strata or anything related to it fair enough um but you know that's just my thing and the other one i would say um what was it beyond good and evil 2 which has been in development for almost 10 years and the only thing they have to show for it is a pre-rendered cinematic mm. that ha- but happens, what they did yeah. show in this pre-rendered cinematic is very enticing at least when it comes to the scope because you know the point of the trailer was to show that they're coming from a single table at this Chinese restaurant all the way to interstellar travel seamlessly. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the sort of thing that they're trying to convey that the game will have. You know what games um, had some really humble beginnings and really small spaces and then ended up in space travel? Hmm? Spore. Ah, I remember that game. Oh, 
Crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Darsh. He's now sad. <laughs> yeah, so, sad Darsh. Sad, oh, sad God, Darsh. Why? Why do you have to do this to me? My why? <laughs> I mean, I'm okay. Other than that, I'm not really a fan of the whole anthropo- anthropomorph. I really hate this word. Anthropomorphic. Um, that one, monkeys yes. and rhinos and shit. But you know, whatever and you have to do to shit. tell a story. Yes, and yeah. Well, we have the poop emoji. <laughs> There's, you know, Patrick Stewart actually voicing the poop emoji in the emoji movie. So, whatever. Really. Yes, oh, I keep Sir Patrick Stewart is going to be the poop emoji. I keep ejecting that thought out of my mind that that is actually a thing. Emojis the movie. I think <laughs> is, is, is I think Fidget Spinner the movie is coming out soon oh, as well. God. Oh. Just, Jesus I'm, I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> how do I close this meeting thing? <laughs> <sighs> so I'm so text. done. Yes. <laughs> yes. What are you two? What What are your two games from me three? <laughs> it's like why? Um, you know, I never played Beyond Good and Evil One, or whatever okay. the neither. original. Me neither. Um, but I don't know. The the trailer looked interesting enough that I might give it a shot. Um, and Far Cry looks interesting. You know, as just a kind of you know good old fashioned kill 'em up, right? Mm. So I'm uh, what? beyond Far Cry. Like I like Far Cry Three, but Far Cry Three Point Five just didn't do anything for me and Far Cry 3.7 just really didn't do anything for me. It 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 looks like it's entertaining enough to get a good playthrough and then call it a day. So I'll I'll do exactly that. I'll get a good playthrough and then call it a day. Right. Basically. Yeah, but do you do you and think the asking price of sixty dollars is going to be enough to justify, I don't know, like eight hours of gameplay you'll get from it? Uh, Maybe I, a bit more. I mean, no, but <laughs> you know that that's probably not going to stop many many out there, right? Yeah. I mean, I'll I'll look, I'll, I'll play it probably and and have some fun with it and then call it ow and then oh, call, call it a day it and owl. be done with it. Yeah. Mm. I just rip my headphone, my my earpiece out of my ear and it just like that it hurt. It was it hurt. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, y- anyways. Yeah, if, if, even your headphones don't want anything to do with Far Cry. <laughs> apparently not, man. Uh, apparently not. So, oh well. But like I said, I, I'm you know I'll, I'll probably get it. I'll play it, you know, for a little bit, uh, beat beat the game, and then be done with it. But um, I don't know. I've I've liked the Far Cry series, and you know, this is bringing it home to to the states and and into this little you know whatever shit ass town. I, I can get behind that. I can have some fun with it, you know. Mm. Yeah. But no, I, I am excited I, to try out Beyond Good and Evil too. So. I, th- I think the latest Far Cry is trying to do something similar to what um, Bioshock Infinite did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, by basing it in like rural America, even though it's far from what we kind and right now know as r- rural America. Sure. Um, mm. Yeah. Like, mm. I can't believe I, neither I think, of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go on, go on. No, I, I think it'll be. I, I think it'll be fun. Is it got a lot of replay? Probably not, but whatever. It'll be fun yeah. enough. I can't believe that neither of you mentioned Anthem. I, I because we didn't uh, see much of it. Yeah, that, there that's was enough exactly of it. My I mean, issue I'm too. sure that I mean, says the guy who was like Beyond an Evil Two looks cool with space, it's, which was a completely horrendous cinematic. At least it was like a scripted gameplay experience, you know. You like, it, and Anthem wasn't. No, I'm saying that. At least Anthem was a scripted gameplay experience as opposed to a pre rendered cinematic. Uh, maybe mm, nah, until fine. we actually see any actual gameplay demonstrations, I'm not going to actually. I mean, sure, it was a vertical slice, but opinions. it was a yeah. game. It, sure, it was a vertical slice, but it was mm. a gameplay demonstration. I th- it had the same feel as the Star Marine presentation did a few years ago. You know, I think it's more fair to compare it to the uh, to the Division trailer of of a while ago because yeah. 
they did the exact same kind of like voice acted. Hey, this is co-op. If your friends mm. sounded awesome, you know. Um, yeah. Kind of thing. Why aren't all my friends professional voice actors? Mm-hmm. I am looking with forward scripts to it. in front of them. <laughs> I, I, I am actually looking forward to it, but I, I still need to see more. Mm. And and I feel like it's still not even near ready for that yet. Yeah. So mm. let's 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 see more before I commit to that. E3 I mean, I'm the same way about the year Good was and Evil, a total land, let down. Yeah. See, mm. that, that was a that was a loaded question to begin with, Meyer. How dare you? I mean, <laughs> you know, really, it's like fuck everything that uh, I saw. Just you know, I, I, here's right, and here's we're the a Star Citizen I eat a three. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Here, here's actually the problem, and that's yeah, kind of similar to what you said. Is that mm. in anticipation of Star Citizen, everything looks like shit to me now. It's just like I, I I'm just ready for Star Citizen, and, yeah. and everything else. It's like I, I don't care. I don't get as hyped anymore about all these new other games that are coming out. It's just kind of like I want Star Citizen. Yeah, mm. I mean, that, that's that's Star Citizen kind of has ruined me. Yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> yep. that's how I it felt as well. Us. Yeah, watching E3. Uh, and then having like you know Jay Lee just in chat with a smug face going, this this stuff looks good, doesn't it, guys? Doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this smug right. face. All, 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 all of these <laughs> you know pre-rendered gameplay trailers or you know or carefully uh, selected vertical slices, and all I want is a canyon run on Daymar. Mm. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did say I had a dream the other night that uh, 3.0 mm-hmm. was out. Or, uh, you, you know, like you wake up in the morning, right? And mm-hmm. you're still kind of like in that dreamy phase. And if you like close your eyes again, you're right back in it. Right. Yeah. I, I did that and I woke up and I was like, nope, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue this dream for a little bit. So you woke up and your face pretty... is bare. <laughs> yeah, you woke yeah. up and re- realized that 3.0 isn't actually released and you went back to sleep. Yeah. I woke up and I did this and I'm like, yeah, the beard's still there. All right. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> so, uh, it starts it hasn't spoiled me and, and we're not even there yet, right? Like, yeah. it's, it's already spoiled me. I want to ride the Nox on the dark side of Yella and then take a screenshot and call it Nox in Nox. Mm. Or, or I, could, I could take a screenshot of myself running over somebody. And then call myself, and then caption it, "I am the one who knocks." In fact, <laughs> God, <laughs> God, oh um, God, yeah. mm, mm, interesting. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of um, or, of Nox, or or or, or, or I'm actually I could, thinking like, uh, of replacing my dragonfly with an ox as soon as it's yeah. available to fly. Yeah. Why not? I mean, yeah. Like a, you, you yeah, haven't even too. seen the, the Dragonfly in engine, but you already want to trade up. I mean, like, you know. Um, well, we've, we've seen... Well, we've only seen videos and pictures of both the Nox... Well, not the videos, but pictures of the Nox and the Dragonfly. But the Nox still kind of uh, strikes me as a proper space bike instead of just a hover mm-hmm. thingy, you know? Like in Here's what I'd Star like to Wars, say The Force Awakens, Sorry. like Rey's um, the little motorcycle thing where mm-hmm. she's you know on on her scavenging runs from the um city star destroyer whatever um you know trying to get her meal portions or whatever that that's the thing i want and that's mm. like what nox kind of promises is going to be like not a f- kind of flattened out pancaked thing i <laughs> more like a sp- motorcycle than i i think the buggy the dragonfly looks a lot more like uh star wars speeder bikes does than whatever we think the mm. nox is gonna look like yeah, yeah. but darch i had so many more nox puns man i was gonna be like oh, yo screw the dragonfly being a pirate ship i'm gonna rob some guy delivering some like stuff in a hall e gonna take a screenshot and call it escaping fort nox you oh, know okay like, uh, <laughs> i'm done i'm so oh good god oh god here we go <laughs> Look, here's <laughs> Darge, come back. Darge. Darge, come back. Uh, all, all right, right look, I'm done. Here's, here's what I want to say on the Nox, okay? Mm. <clears throat> NDA. Yeah. NDA? Yeah. Well, and as people have pointed out, the Nox might not have any weapons, but I don't give a shit. Again, it's a bike. Just about it's the Nox. It's a bike. Mm-hmm. Mm. NDA. 
He has a point. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes, um, the Evo so, are getting 3.0 very soon, and we'll all be bound by the NDA. Yeah. Mm. Well, That's I mean, suck. So when I was in Austin um, doing a tour, NDA. Oh, that's what you mean. I hate you. Oh. I, I, <laughs> so he has. I, so I, he, I, I do, I, you actually don't know what I'm saying. I could literally say that I flew a dragonfly or that I actually didn't or even have a dragon. Tour, but I'm just. I, I, all, I, all, I'm, all I can say is NDA. NDA, NDA. <sighs> and then he's pulling that straight face like his camera's. For, oh, Jesus Christ, X. How do I, do, I, how do I turn off wow. his source? All right, there I we go. I have to blink. <laughs> <laughs> how do I get Texas Gold off of here? I need to mute him. Yeah, yeah. Just just mute him. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All oh, right. man. Oh, man. So this, uh, this podcast was... Well, it started off talking about stamina. But uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> out of stamina now myself. Um, oh, God. <laughs> yes, probably. Yeah, I think uh, maybe it might be time to uh, wrap things up. And uh, I don't know. I mean, like, we, we missed quite a few weeks. Maybe we could do a catch-up. <laughs> a catch-up FF. Time? Yeah. Mm, okay, we could do. We mm. could do. Although nothing much has been released. Everybody's still, like, on the edge of the sheets about 3.0, 3.0, 3.0. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. So unless the next two weeks of ATV are going to be fucking spectacular i don't think we'll actually have much to talk about Mm -hmm. at all we'll think of something as we always do okay atvs have been pretty good though um i've been atvs has been spectacular yeah yeah i i usually walk away very happy so Mm. um uh, you know i I, i've said it multiple times now not here tonight but their their studio updates have gotten just so much better. Um, the production they actually quality. get into deep. Yeah. yeah. Mm. They're Especially good. the Frank the Frankfurt ones. Yeah. I mean uh, like, like, like you, you could have Brian Chambers, you know, just leave him with a camera and the microphone mm-hmm. on and he could just go on f- for hours. And I would yep. listen to all of it. Yep. Yeah. He's got it. He 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 does he does very well. Um he he drops the mic every time. He just like blah 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 yep. blah blah and then pff, done. Yeah, it's, it's yeah and, and you know, th- there's been a few, uh, like every once in a while, there are discussions on um, th- Reddit and the forums about the huge turnover oh, when it comes to uh, CIG's employees. And I just don't think they can afford to lose people like Brian Chambers. Mm. It's true. It's true. I mean, there are, there are some paragons in there, you know, like uh, irreplaceable dudes. Sure. Um, I mean, at mm-hmm. least from, 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 you know, like a consumer standpoint, because we do get ATV and you're like, oh, these guys are awesome. I want to learn more about this stuff, you know, um, mm-hmm. for sure. I mean, going back to the last ATV, the, um, the production quality, I don't know, maybe if they've like hired somebody because the production quality did take a leap. Uh, the netcode stuff was actually kind of like uh, palatable because they actually had a really good graphical representation of what he was talking about. Like, um, yeah. and that that kind of stuff they hadn't had before. Um, yeah, so that was really helpful. That was really cool. I th- uh, yeah, well, I think that it was actually a choice to overlay something, mm. you know, just just to to draw parallels because otherwise, if it, they just discussed whatever netcode was about, it'd be a com- so dry of a conversation that. Mm. It didn't wouldn't really merit its own ATV. Mm. It's a lot more show and tell now than just tell, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, the the studio update portion used to be just you know talk for a little bit and then move on to the yeah. segments mm-hmm. of the ATV, and and now it's like it's a huge show and tell segment, mm-hmm. and then they have their singular focus for that ATV. Um, yeah. yeah. So it's it's great. I, I like it. I think I think ATVs are in a great spot right now. Do you know which studio is um in next week's uh, ATV? Well, this, this week week's was ATV, yeah. this. Well, yeah, this week's. Uh, last week, what, what was last week? Uh, it wasn't that, Frankfurt. Yeah, that was Frankfurt. No, it was UK, wasn't it? right? It, it was UK. Yeah, yeah. UK. Mm. So I think it is um, Austin. I, don't I know. always forget the order, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I cannot actually, actually, ever remember it. I actually think they're going around the planet. So if we're going from west to east, we got California. Um, Santa Monica or Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. We have Austin, Texas, with Montreal, and then we have Frank, uh, UK, and then we have Frankfurt. 
Yeah. Right. I think that's that's the way it goes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So if it was think, UK this week, right. ne- last week, next week, it's Frankfurt. But... Psh. I think you're right, but mm. I, I, I can't ever remember. I, 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 for the life of me, Whatever never it is, it's going to be grand. <laughs> mm. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Mm. So. Right. But, okay, so, Mar, you're, mm-hmm. you're feeling a bit down. You uh, want to finish this off? All right, so, uh, ladies... Wait, what? Phrasing. La- ladies. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Fortnightly Frontier season four, episode fifteen, featuring the one and only Texas Skulls. Today we talked about some stamina and some other things, but now we're all worn out, and so we must bid you adieu. So that's it from me. That's it from Darge, and that's it from Tex. And we'll Adios. see you around the verse, or in the verse, somewhere in the verse. In the verse, traverse the verse. Definitely the verse. Somewhere <laughs> in where. Just, just, just fucking cut it. Yeah. I fell asleep. I was. Get out. I, I, yeah. I think I've lost some of my life <laughs> listening to that intro. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hello. hello. Yeah. And they ask why I drink so much. <laughs>